Hello, and thanks for joining us on the news update today. I'm Choma Okoye. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election says it is concerning that Nigerians' president and vice president are out of the country at the same time. On October 2nd, the presidency announced President Bola Chinibu's departure from Abuja for a two-week vacation in the UK. Ten days later, Kabi Masara, the senior special assistant on political matters to the president, said Tinubu had left the UK for France. Vice President Kashim Shetima is on a two-day working visit to Sweden. The presidency has stated that the absence of the country's first and second citizens do not translate to a vacuum in the nation's leadership. Commenting on the absence, Obi said Chinembu could have visited Sweden himself instead of asking Shetima to represent him. He said the president and his deputy have refused to be fiscally responsible at a time when Nigerians are facing severe hunger and poverty. The Kwara State Police Command on Friday said that three officers who were dismissed in connection with the killing of a student of Kwara State Polytechnic in Lorry, Koyum Ishola, have been charged to court. The command disclosed that the three dismissed officers, Abiodun Kayode, James Emmanuel, and Oni Philip, would face trial on criminal conspiracy and culpable homicide, stating all three have been remanded in prison custody. The command had vowed that it would prosecute the three police officers found guilty of allegedly killing Ishola, an MDT student of the Kwara State Polytechnic in Lorry, in the Court of Competent Jurisdiction. The Kwara State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Victor Olaya, in a statement released by the Police Public Relations Officer, Ejire Adeyemi Tong, on Monday night, said the police authorities had dismissed the three officers found culpable in the student's killing. Ishala, a 21-year-old student of Department of, Electro of Electrical Electronics of Kwara State Polytechnic, was allegedly murdered by the police during a stop and search operation at the Fate area of Ilori on September 4, 2024. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has fixed November 8, 2025 for the conduct of the governorship election in Anambra State. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu announced the date during a consultative meeting with political parties in Abuja on Thursday. Yakubu said the electoral law stipulates that no notice for elections should be published not later than 360 days before the date of the polls. He noted that party primaries for elections should be conducted between March 20 and April 10, 2025. He urged political parties to use the INEC timetable to plan their activities ahead of the election. The Lagos State House of Assembly is preparing to replace the existing 37 local council development areas, LCDAs, with newly designated administrative areas. The 37 LCDAs were created by President Bola Tinubu in 2003 when he was governor of Lagos State. This was part of a discussion at the public hearing for the proposed bill for a law to provide for the local government system, establishment and administration and to also consolidate all laws and local government administration. Speaking at the hearing, Badashiro Obasa, the speaker represented by Mojisola Miranda, his deputy, noted that the bill is a key step towards improving accountability within the state. Obasa added that the bill, once passed, would allow local governments to function optimally, adhering to the rule of law and separation of powers. According to the bill, Lagos will recognize 20 local government areas as outlined in the 1999 constitution. The bill grants the governor the authority to suspend any chairman, vice chairman, or political appointee with reinstatement possible after notifying the assembly. On the foreign scene, the Kenyan Senate has voted to impeach Deputy President Regathi Gasha Gwa. The lawmakers voted Thursday evening despite a plea from Paul Muitz. Gashwa's Kashagwa's lawyer to postpone the proceedings. According to Moit, Gashagwa was hospitalized after falling very sick hours before the vote was set to hold. Amasen Kenge, the Senate Speaker, said Gashagwa had until 5 p.m. local time to show up. The 59-year-old man becomes the first deputy president to be impeached in Kenyan's history, at least 
53 senators voted to uphold the first charge. Kashagwa, who faced 11 charges, was impeached on five counts. The Israeli Defense Forces IDF says it has killed Yaha Sinwa, leader of Hamas, the Palestinian militant group. Sinwa topped Israel's most wanted list and was believed to be the mastermind of the coordinated attacks on the Jewish nation on October 7, 2024. The IDF said Sinwa was killed on Wednesday after a year-long pursuit. Israeli police added that the forensics department completed a DNA test that affirmed Sinwa's identification. An edited clip released by the military showed what appeared to be the Hamas leader's last moments. Finally on the news, how does it feel to have Pitobi set to a dispute between a traveler and an airline? That's the crux of our final story. After prominent social media influencer, Olajumoke Alawade James, caused a stare on X on Friday when she publicly complained about the nine-hour delay she endured before embarking on her return flight. On airpiece from Abuja to Lagos on Thursday, Alawade James noted that she had only avoided raining curses on airpiece because she supported the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in last year's election on the same flight. As an obedient herself, she referred to him as her leader, but Mr. Obi wasted no time responding and pleading with her for caution and understanding given the adverse economic situation in the country. In his response, he said, and I quote, Thank you, my dear, at Olua Lonio. Let me sincerely apologize on their behalf. These days, I have learned to avoid criticizing or getting easily annoyed with Nigerians, and in particular, Nigerian businesses given the harsh and difficult environments they have to navigate. The situation in our country demands that we always apply caution as we try to understand each other's circumstances and factor them in our judgment of them. This should act as a reminder that many are doing their best despite the challenging circumstances and that patience and understanding can go a long way." End quote. Soon after, a flurry of reactions followed. Enterprise TV's Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Evan Sufeli, also weighed in on the matter, saying, and I quote, At Pitobi is an extraordinary leader. He addresses at Olua Lonio, who was on an airpiece flight that was painfully delayed for nine hours. She said she was restrained from causing the airline the moment she discovered Pitobi was on the same flight. Well, Perhaps when next you fly, you check who is on board with you. And with that, this is a wrap on the news update. You may follow us and subscribe to all pages across all social media. We are at Enterprise TV 7. Our website is at www.enterprisetvnews.com. I'm Choma Okohe. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.